touched on this. So I also wanted to mention that uh, the ignition coil connectors are all marked. So you can see coil 3, this is cylinder 3, coil 1, this is cylinder 1 and so on. So you can't mess it up. Continuing with the reassembly, I think next thing we need to do is get the throttle bodies put back in. Uh, since we have them cleaned out and ready, uh, let me just pull them out and we can proceed from there. I just noticed a little bit of dirt on here. Just using electronic screeners. I did buy these, um, you know, Suzuki style clamps from AF1. Uh, hopefully, they should fit fine, so we don't have to deal with the weird style clamps again when we come back to do anything um, see I think I might take a minute and clean these uh, intake ports probably use a little bit of sea foam type something uh, seem to be coming off just with the normal just with these sitting there so, yeah, should be fairly easy <laughs> Not perfect, but significantly cleaner. You can see the difference between the two. Both sides are cleaned up pretty well. Yeah. I'm grab that light. Pretty clean, both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and try to install the front throttle bodies now. A bit of silicon spray.
next I'm going to plug in these injector wires this should be dry now so we can connect this guy remember to I have to remember to plug this back into the front of the airbox as well as these two clips and this piece of wiring harness Christmas tree clip I might go see if I can find another one of these just talking down these uh, clamps see I'll grab a different screwdriver the stubby one works great for this I have the clamps positioned uh, this way so this clamp is right here the head of the screw is right here so I'm able to put my stubby screwdriver in this way this clamp is facing this way while I could use this as sort of a little bit of interference over here so I'm going to get a longer slightly longer screwdriver and screw it in from out here there seems to be a little bit of interference here between the motor body and where the yeah. okay so I tried a few different things but nothing seems to work yet so I took a little dremel and I shaved off the corners of this hose clamp i'm gonna see if that relieves the interference That seems to have done it. So. so I just needed to give it a little bit of a relief cut and that seems to hold fine. The more challenging one is definitely going to be the rear bank. Let's get these injector connectors plugged in before I start messing with the rear throttle bodies then that way the front throttle bodies will be all set. Okay, I put the pin back so that the metal uh, clip is engaged where it's supposed to be and looking at the connectors it seems like all I need to do is push it on and it should clip in and it seems like the part where the cut is faces up like the half moon cut um, let me see. So I put the metal clip back so that it's engaged on top here and then it seems like where this cut is uh, faces upwards towards me so I'm gonna clip it in and see if it clips in that should be perfect no. 
it's connected perfect that's it just got to get this clip back where it belongs and because it has uh, because the connector on the injector side has ramps if we just push it on it will engage with this move this guy out of the way that's it taking it off is the hard part putting it on pretty easy everything here is up here is kosher okay that should be the front throttle body is completely set up let's move to the rear The technique of using uh, these Q-tips soaked in brake clean seems to work really well for the carbon deposits slash fuel deposits. I'm never going to get all of it out but just trying to prevent build up Not perfect, but pretty good. I think I have the real rear throttle bodies maneuvered mostly into position. So it's a lot of fiddling, moving harnesses and tubes and stuff around and trying to get this to sit where it needs to sit um, but I think I have it a couple of notes I have is I'm going to try to put the clips on the injector connectors right now while I still have access to them because this big wiring harness is going to be in the way of trying to connect and disconnect them uh, if I try to do it later the other thing is to connect the fuel rail between the two throttle bodies so I just have it loosely sitting here right now so that when I do connect it or when I do try to push the throttle bodies down it uh, it tries to connect or it's in a position where I can connect it easily because these are hard lines and I don't want to bend them uh, point number three I have the clamps set up in a way where I think I can get my screwdrivers on them uh, at least I tried so this one this clamp I think I can get my screwdriver in through here uh, and up to the clamp and on that one I have it facing that way uh, and again I think that through the harness and stuff I should be able to get my screwdriver in but uh, I'm going to test the screwdriver theory is before I push the throttle bodies into their final place. Okay. 
I went ahead and clearanced this as well uh, because I wanted to fit underneath here without interfering with uh, these parts of the throttle body. So I suspect it was just a little bit too long, but hopefully now that should give it enough clearance to not interfere. I put these two lines on and tightened it. The throttle body took a considerable amount of force to push it down. Now I am tightening the hose clamp. This seems to be the best access I can get. And uh, that's pretty tight. It doesn't need to be exorbitantly tight, just tight enough to hold the intake boot on. So it should be totally fine. I think everything pre air box is now assembled. Throttle bodies are in, all the connectors are connected, the coils are connected, injectors are connected. Um, everything should be all set. I also connected the uh, what I'm guessing is uh, manifold air pressure sensors, these two guys uh, which are pulling vacuum lines from the manifold uh, so I'm assuming these are manifold pressure sensors um, I think next we would need to lay the air, air box on here <laughs> 